Hi everyone, uh, Chronicle Bros here today, and uh, we're going to do uh, a reaction video of uh, the Nintendo Digital Event for E3 2015. A real uh, one, not a fake one, where we're faking our reactions woo! like other channels. The, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is completely <laughs> legit. We have we seen do nothing. We do know one of the announcements, so let's not well, lie to them. Well, we've things like people's predictions and things mm -hmm. already, so we kind of have an idea yeah. of what's gonna happen, but yeah. we, do we know haven't one watched it. it. We do know one. Just we, we do know, know one, one. yeah. yeah. Uh, other than that, it's just, like completely blind, right? There's no... No um, fake reactions. We were looking at it, Damien pointed out the number of dislikes this video has, so our hopes have been kind of like knocked down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, right now we're- I mean, after seeing Sony, I fucking understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty much Sony stuck it to Nintendo, and Microsoft was just like- It was like Internet Explorer, pretty much trying. <laughs> Damn. It, it was trying. That bad, eh? It was trying. <laughs> but not as bad as Sony kicking Microsoft's Oh, ass. okay, not that Probably bad. Probably not that bad, because that was direct. Yeah, like, that, that was, was like, they were literally like jabbing them in the eye, and they're like, did you like it when it twists like that? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some salt yeah. with that wound? Yeah, so uh, to put it into context, uh, we're watching this on the same day that uh, Direct happened, uh, which is uh, July, June uh, 7th, oh, sorry, June 16th, it, it just, it's midnight right now. Uh, the current, uh, let's see, so on YouTube, uh, Nintendo's uh, page, they have uh, 150,000 views on their video, uh, 5,000 likes, 6,000 dislikes. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what shit went down. <laughs> uh, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to break up uh, our video into parts. Uh, so anytime they're done a segment, uh, we're going to stop, um, we're going to stop watching the video and just talk about it quickly. And then we're going to make a new video for the next segment that they discuss. That way, if there's something that you guys aren't really interested in, based on the title, you can kind of see what you want us to talk about. Yeah, instead of like one super the long thing, video. Having to skip past us. Yeah, skip past us yabbering and whatever <laughs> whatever it is we do. Okay, so are you guys ready? Shall we start? Yosh! 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 <laughs> okay, and uh, three, two, one. All right. Aww! <laughs> Flat <fire. laughs> Such a tease. Three, two, one. Okay. Two, three, four. It's starting. <clears throat> Reused graphics. <laughs> Do they normally have Muppets? Isn't everyone? I, I thought Nintendo was run by Muppets. <laughs> well, last year their theme was robot chicken styled, right? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> how are you gonna top that, really? <laughs> it's scary, he doesn't blink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My puppet body's ready. Look at that chin. <laughs> this is strange. Credit where credit is due, they, they know how to change it up. <laughs> That's a little strange. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to make this, <laughs> really. Wasn't there like a, like a white guy? <gasps> oh yeah, there was last year, the, the purple guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check out last year's reaction video. <laughs> what? No, it's good Star Fox. Oh shit. <gasps> Oh, that makes sense. Was he gonna be like a, yeah, a frog? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Keep your cool, Will. Just, just keep your cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I just it's hilarious. Can't. Can. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shit, officially lost. Oh my god! They actually made puppets of this, that's pretty hilarious. Now selling them on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I totally buy these. Yeah, since we go for thousands. Oh my god. And true to form, no Slippy, because nobody wants Slippy. <laughs> <laughs> Use bombs wisely. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. Oh my god! I think they put hashtag Star Fox in the corner, just in case. Just, just in case you, you're not sure what they're talking about. Oh my okay, god! Okay, this is nice. So they're actually taking advantage of... The gamepad, which mm -hmm. is nice, instead of it feeling like an awkward, like, oh, they just threw it in. Yep, yep. They've got both uh, on rail mode and on range mode from the, the classic. And there's on land segments. That's brave because in Star Fox Assault, they tried incorporating this sort of thing and it <laughs> failed epically. Speaking of failing epically, our yeah, video's stuttering a bit. That's why we uh, do Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Oh, Landmaster. And it changes on the fly! No pun intended. <laughs> oh my lords. That's incredible. Ah! <laughs> First person view? See, this is what Metroid Other M needed. That sort of style. I'm guessing there's gonna be online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually... What? There should be online. Yeah, that'd be weird. Star Fox me. Zero. That's not really original. Okay, developer story. I assume this is for Star Fox? Relations? Relations? <laughs> no, he said relations. Oh yeah, the British series. That inspired me to make a game that had cinematic elements. With each character having a distinct personality. Oh man. <laughs> I'm losing my shit internally right now. <laughs> oh, they're bringing back Pigma? Oh, it's a member of Star Wolf. <laughs> so I wonder if it's a continuation or... Of the storylines, right? Um, based on, um... Yeah, uh, Star Fox Command, uh, was technically the last game in the series for the DS, uh, and they thought that was the last game that they were ever gonna make for Star Fox, so they made, like, nine different endings, all of which were pretty damn depressing, actually. Uh, most ended with, like, the team just disbanding, <laughs> and, like, them never seeing each other again. So this is interesting. Okay, that's definitely Corneria. So I'm not sure if that was part of the video. <laughs> yeah, it looked like they might have done it on purpose. Yeah. Okay, so Slippy's back. I mean, you sort of have, as annoying as he is, you can't have a Star Fox game without Slippy. Wow. <laughs> Does that matter for a video yeah. game? <laughs> Oh man, that looks gorgeous. You're saying after I do this, I can basically be a pilot. Yeah, why else would you play this game? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, how many people are actually going to use it though, right? Because some people like to play inverted or something. Yeah, yeah they like to change yeah. up their game style. I, I mean, with the actual like tilting or not tilting the game, the pad. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't it's know cool about that you they have that functionality, but I feel like a lot of people are just going to turn it off. Yeah, no, I can't stand motion controls, period. It's just, they're awkward. Uh, they're going to definitely have a off version of it, right? They better. I mean, it's just like the 3DS, like doing motion controls for that. It, it's completely bass backwards because motion controls plus 3D effects are never going to work, which is why they came up with a new 3DS. I realized that too when I was trying to use it, and I was like, but then it doesn't, like, I usually have my 3D off anyway, right? Yeah, but yeah. It just makes you feel very motion sick. Yeah. Me, anyway. Oh, because it makes you dizzy, just straight up. 
Oh, is he gonna shoot Slippy down? Come on, just once. Oh. <laughs> Showing off his watch. <laughs> it's a nice watch. <laughs> oh man. That's really cool. Oh, I'm glad you know you have four buttons remaining after you use one. <laughs> that's really cool, though. Like, that just gives more flexibility for the R-Wing. <clears throat> I never thought they would even, like, do something like that, but that's just... That's, like, next-gen shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it does. There's the Landmaster. Oh, man. This changes up exploration in a rail shooter, like, exponentially. Oh, what is that? It's like a mini helicarrier. Reminds me of, like, some of the missions from Mass Effect. They had stuff like this. Oh, Mass Effect? Yeah. Oh. Mass Effect 2. I don't know. Oh, and then you have... <laughs> oh, you have a little Wally. -E. <laughs> Wally. -E. Oh, that's a total ripoff of a Sonic 4 Episode 2 boss. That, I don't know. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> it's a parkour. <laughs> oh, so there's no... It's not a continuation or... No, prequel, it's like it doesn't a new fit story into, It doesn't fit oh, into the story at all. Oh! So they can do whatever they want. Eh, that's fair. Yeah, because the quote-unquote old storyline sort of ends with command now, I guess, officially, in terms of canon. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I mean, we can't really judge. All right, I think that's the part of that segment. Okay, so what do you guys think? This better like not be their strongest candidate. Oh, oh my head first, so yeah, so it, it's definitely it, it's sort of like putting your strongest trailer yeah, first. I yeah, I hope they don't do that. <clears throat> I hope there's like a shocking that you're like, whoa. Uh, but wait, there's more. That. Yeah. yeah. But well, what <laughs> are, are you not like? Is it because of the game, or is it because we already, we already knew it was gonna come right even before we actually saw it? Like we both yeah. were like, it's gonna be Star Fox, and that's it. Because they teased it last <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I hope this isn't. Everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. What did you think, Sam, of a new Star Fox game? Are you guys Star Fox veterans? Um, I've played it before, but I haven't played, like, every single game. Oh, okay. I can't remember which one I played. But I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty excited. It looks good. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. I like that they're finally taking advantage of the gamepad, because I feel like a lot of the games are just kind of, like, awkward. Like, even since the, the Wii, the whole, like, motion control with the remotes, like, I feel like... They haven't done the greatest job in every game taking advantage no. of the things that are supposed to make their console unique. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they're kind of integrating it. Even if you don't like the motion control, like they're kind of making it better. Trying to make it make sense. Like, why is this game for Nintendo? Like, what mm -hmm. makes it a Nintendo game for this console as opposed to like you know, like PlayStation where you just have like a regular controller. Right? Controller with no screen. Yeah, I mean like the Wii, it, when they first teased the Wii U, they had a lot, they they, they they were pushing their Zelda concept, like it's just weird random Zelda one-off thing for a long time saying like, hey look, on, on the TV you have like the gameplay, on the screen you have a bunch of, um, you have all your items and, and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But the only game that really did that in the past like couple of years was Shovel Knight. Uh, where all your, <laughs> and it's well, when like- When Waker HD did it, when Waker HD. <clears throat> oh, when Waker HD did mm -hmm. it? Okay, haven't played that yet. So there, there we go. So they finally did incorporate Maybe into Pikmin a. Did it. Oh, uh, Pikmin three. Yeah, I think they use like maps because it's actually used for them. That's good. They they should have yeah they 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 should have done it more right off the bat. Um, because like otherwise it's really just used like like when Sam when you were playing Donkey Kong like it's used like just as like a, another way of, of of looking at the TV screen. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, it might be a little better than than using a TV screen, but it doesn't really add anything to the experience. But then it's like well, it's this awkward like it's a TV but also a mobile like gaming thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can look at one or the other but not use both, which I don't like. It needs to be something that's integrated mm -hmm. because if not, then you're looking you're looking at one or the other you know what yeah I mean? yeah yeah and that's what it seems like the star fox zero is doing very well because like mm -hmm. on the screen you have like the, the the whole like world but on the on the 
gamepad, you have the cockpit, and that's just that, that's what it should be used for. That's how Metroid Other M should have handled itself as well. But at that time, at that point in time, like the hardware just wasn't available to uh, to Team Ninja when they developed the game. Um, yeah, personally, just I mean, I love Star Fox. Every single game that's ever come out, uh, Adventures, Assault, uh, except for the ground levels in Assault, nobody cares about. It was those. a little weird that like. <clears throat> The ship just started walking on its wings. It looked pretty seamless, though. Like, I know this was, like, a demonstration, uh, so who knows how it's actually going to work. But if if they do the level design just right and make oh, that yeah. sort of gameplay relevant, yeah. then, then then it'll work like a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, Reminds me of yeah. Transformers, you know, when they do the whole, like, Optimus, like, tucks and rolls and then... <laughs> and, like, does this change, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, what's happening to the people on the inside? <laughs> We don't ever really think about that. For all we know, like, okay, how does how does Samus like what the, what does her body do when she morph balls? Like, we don't really want to think about that. Right? <laughs> also, not to this Star Fox, but like No Man's Land could probably kick this space. That's uh, yeah, but No Man's Land was like you saw like the I did you saw what it was. But, yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. one was like. It's a different audience, though, and, like, they might be yeah, going obviously. for more. Yeah, I, uh, people are saying that No Man's Sky. Imagine they going, come out the same day. No Man's shoot. Sky, you mean, right? Yeah, No Man's Sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's Sorry, no. I'm people are losing. No, no, no. People are losing their shit over yeah, that, and rightly geez. so. It's a massive game, No Man's Sky. Like, huge endeavor. Yeah. Um, people I are hope saying it's that. Real, whatever they're saying, right? Like, he was like, I've never been to this planet, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just... Horribly right or horribly wrong for the presentation. It's like, whoa, this. That's crazy if it's true, right? Yeah, no, hopefully they can just deliver. Um, the thing about No Man's Sky, it's like, yeah, that, that seems to be um, more explorative. Mm -hmm. um, Star Fox has always been, like, objective story and mission-based. Yeah. yeah, story focus. So, and, you know, oh, even care they, they, they've... Every Star Fox game does a surprisingly good job of taking care of uh, character development, mm -hmm. uh, even in an on-rail shooter. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, it's really more just a principle thing. Finally, we're getting a Star Fox game. Um, but, yeah, oh, per personally, I'm excited. If this is the best thing that comes out of this year's E3 for Nintendo, I'll, I'll be pretty satisfied. This is the year, because we're getting Kingdom Hearts 3, yep. finally. <laughs> we're getting uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, finally. <laughs> we're getting Star Fox, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Nintendo's not gonna fuck up finally. <laughs> no! <laughs> and on that note, we will see you guys in the next part for what they have in store after this. Bye! Bye! Oh, what a segue. <laughs>